3. Harden didn't get preferential treatment, surprised Griffin avoided penalty. Houston, when the NBA's ruling of the Clippers v. Rockets Monday night dust-up came down on Wednesday, it didn't take long for the conspiracy theorists to chime in about the discipline that had, and had not, been doled out. While Rockets role players Trevor Ariza and Gerald Green received two game suspensions for their role in the matter, the other two Houston players present post-game in the chaotic Clippers locker room, nine-time All-Star Chris Paul and MVP candidate, five-time All-Star James Harden, did not receive any punishment. So, the speculation went on social media and elsewhere, this was clearly a case of stars getting star treatment, even more so in the case of Paul, as he wields even more influence as the president of the National Basketball Players Association. It's all a rig Drews, right? As Rockets CEO Tad Brown sees it, that notion couldn't be more wrong. The league is agnostic when it comes to these types of things, and the fact that Chris, that neither Chris nor James were reprimanded was because they didn't do anything, they were peacemakers, in this situation, Brown said on Thursday morning. And this was coming from all of the reports that were investigated by both Clippers staff, security staff and Rockets staff. The idea that somehow Chris Paul is receiving preferential treatment because he's connected with the Players' Union, and his relationship with the Players' Association is just silly. Clippers' Rockets fallout, NBA suspends Rockets' Ariza, green two games he's back, Rockets' James Harden to return tonight versus Timberwolves' fight. Greg Popovich mocks slew of NBA fights, let me at him. Let me at him while Rockets officials made sure to say that they respect the league's ruling, it's quite clear that they're displeased. From the length of the suspensions to the fact that the Clippers' Blake Griffin wasn't punished for his aggressive blow-by of Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni during the game, there's a strong sense from their side that the outcome was unfair. We know that the league has a tough job in doling out the discipline in these types of situations, Brown continued. The emotions were very high. It was a very chippy game, as was stated. I think the key thing is we need to dot control our passion better, and keep it focused. And I think Mike and the guys are going to do a good job of that. I think the number of games seemed heavy, because we thought that the, comparable incidents in the NBA's past, were much more geared toward the one-game potential suspension. I think Trevor was prepared for that. That seemed to be where it was. I was a little surprised by Gerald, but again the league did a full review on this. The Griffin Don Tony incident is the kind of thing that won't be forgotten by the Rockets anytime soon, they play again in Los Angeles on February 28th, by the way. From Houston's viewpoint, the 6 foot 10, 250 pound Griffin clearly targeted the 66 year old Don Tony and made a point to bump him as he ran down the floor. Add in the fact that Griffin has done this before, and it only added to their surprise that it wasn't addressed by the NBA as a way of protecting all coaches. On Halloween night in 2013, Griffin exchanged words with then Golden State Warriors coach Mark Jackson during a similar situation. Jackson, who's now an ESPN analyst, referenced the incident during a telecast of the Clippers Nuggets game on Wednesday night. Mike D'Antoni is a great guy and Mike decided he just wants to let this go, Brown said. Things happen in the heat of battle, but we were surprised, I think, a little bit that Blake was not, didn't receive any discipline in any form or fashion. They reviewed everything, and again the league is very thorough in these things, and they're very impartial. And I understand, Vice President of Basketball Operations Kiki Van de Weyck, explanation in everything in reviewing the tape and reviewing everything else, but I also was there and I also have spoken with Mike and our guys and it was a situation that we think could have been avoided. But the league has made its decision, and we respect that. And Mike respects that. That's the most important thing, and we'll go forward from there. Follow USA Today Sports Sam Amick on Twitter.